Hi, my name is Matt Houghton. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Andy Sadler Electrical Workshop here at the Worcester College of Technology. Uh, today I will be demonstrating electrical testing. Uh, this is the equipment we're using to perform the test. Uh, we have a mega multifunctional tester. Uh, we have a plug-in tester. We have a proving unit. We have a set of safe isolation keys and locks. We have a voltage indicator and a set of test leads compliant to GS38, meaning that they have no more than two mil showing at the tips. They are fused, they are finger guards, and they have insulation and are robust enough to perform the live testing. This is the board we'll be testing today. As you can see, it's a live board, so the first thing we need to do is safe isolation. Firstly, we need to download the board. And starting off on the right hand side of the fuse board, we work our way across with the circuit breakers, then finally the main switch. The reason why we start at these circuit breakers is that these devices are known as on load. Uh, the main switch should always be switched on an off load supply. Having downloaded the board, we then insert the locking off device. It simply clicks into the main switch like so. Place the padlock with the warning label. Make sure the padlock's tight. And this, the key, is kept with a person who is conducting the isolation. We can then undo the screws on the fuse board. So, and remove the cover. Uh, this is the voltage indicator and this is the proving unit. We insert the voltage indicator into the proving unit and as you see all the lights display on the voltage indicator. Having removed the fuse board cover, we now place the probe onto the neutral bar and then onto each of the circuit breakers. As you can see, the next circuit breaker along is an RCBO, so we go onto the neutral and the line there, and as you can see, the lights are not lit. We then go back onto the neutral bar there, and then onto the final circuit. We then go onto the earth terminal block, and do exactly the same. As you can see, the lights are not lit. We then go on to the neutral block, or in this case the RCBO neutral, and then finally onto the neutral block here, and as you can see, none of the lights are lit. We then take a voltage indicator, we go back to our proving unit and retest the voltage indicator. Uh, this shows that the voltage indicator wasn't damaged during the test procedure. Having isolated the board, always remember that there are live conductors coming in through the bottom of the fuse board into the main switch. So the rest of the circuits are dead, but remember that these conductors underneath are still live and should be treated with the utmost respect.